Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World and our Carthaginians. We are playing the uh, Carthage campaign, we're in game 1, Oxhide and in uh, turn 35 with our young uh, queen Arishatbal, the warrior. However, she's ill and let's see how this goes. She's very young, 26 years old, but I think last time we heard already some rumors that the illness is quite severe, so we shall see if she makes it. Apart from this, we had a war with the Libyans over here since we're trying to expand a little bit in this direction. They seem to be the uh, smaller or not to, uh, threatening enemy than the Numidians over here, from which we are keeping peace and also recruiting some mercenaries. So, yeah, we shall see what the future brings. It is about to, Car about, uh, it's, it's to Carthage to become the Mediterranean power number one, of course, and yeah. Just a reminder, we have to fulfill these goals in the end to uh, finish off the scenario one, and we just have uh, three more to discover. So we shall see what happens. All right, uh, I don't want to waste too much time talking about it. Let's just jump right in and go to the next turn where we see our next moves. Okay, Scout has been attacked. And Zushan is also ill now, my brother. All right. And your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. All right. I just talked about it. So it looks like we are going to be um, <laughs> dying soon. Android diplomacy. Queen Ruler is impressed by your recent attempts and interest in improving relations with the Numidians. As a token of goodwill, she offers the service of either Secure the Numidian or Cilia the Numidian. Two of the finest and most talented her tribe has to offer. We've got here court merchant, court soldier, or friendship with her, right? We'll go because we're lacking. First of all, I don't want to befriend her fully because she's old and we might die. And yeah, at some point there might be also war with the Numidians. Who knows? But especially we we're lacking uh, some soldiers. So I'm happy to get Sylvia the Numidian as a court soldier. All right. What else? That is love is in the air. Astrobal has asked to speak with you in private. He leads you into a cozy nook and says, Richard Bal, I have to tell you how I feel. You see, I could never resist a woman with such a way with words. I know this must be a surprise to you, so I'll give you some time to think about what I've said. He gives you a fond smile and walks away. That's a lot to take in. Aha, uh -huh. some love going on. And here we are. Um, let's prepare for our future attack. Um, this guy can move up and will be commanded by Celia immediately or expect Biba. Then I'll go here with Celia. And these guys here, they can basically just heal, which is helpful. And I think next turn they will be able to attack over here. The, the scouts over here, I will just move a little bit forward here. All right, nice. Here's an oracle, ancient ruins. Good to see. Over here, um, yeah, let's build a garrison, so we can bring a governor in. Yeah, and let's build it over here. I think actually, strategic exposition isn't that relevant this time because I don't know how the scenario turns out to go into the next one. But I don't expect the garrison to be really helpful or necessary as a defensive building versus the Dominions. But probably I don't want to jinx it, you know. <laughs> and what else? This guy here. Ah, you've got to repair repair the quarry for sure. And these guys can. And the mine here is kind of. Oh, the mine is kind of sweet over here. What else can we do? Uh, let's do this action, prepare for the mine. So, all right, looking good. Uh, nothing else to do. Let's jump straight into the next turn. Okay, we're getting hit here. Getting hit again. And my brother still feels feels fear as do any same man, but he never lets it stop him. He got courage. All right, we did polis means we can build walls, we can build hamlets, and we can go for forestry. But since we definitely want to go push towards the 
uh, by reams. We definitely need here navigation. I'm gonna go for the shortest, which is here trapping for two turns. Also enables us to build camps with the elephants and so on, so it's kind of helpful. Life is short. On a recent diplomatic mission, General Tabiba the scientist was waylaid by Numidian warriors and captured. Oh my god. She now languishes in a dark prison where the, her future remains in doubt. A message arrives from Queen Rula, with whom you have a tennis relationship. What shall I do with the lost daughter of Carthage? Life can be so short, so fragile. We will pay for her return. Holy moly, for 40 years? Is she actually still in... Okay, is it like... Engine-wise, she's still here. Comes doomed, scared or missing. Scarred or missing. Hmm. But we do have a ginormous income of money. You know what? And I don't expect actually the game to go... Let's see, where is it coming from, this massive income? Is it from our... No, it's not from our... Necessarily from our characters. So let's go. We pay for her. We wanted her now. Let's pay. Worst case, we have to go to war with the Numidians to stop the payment. And the time has come again for Carthage to send tribute to Tyre. What shall our next shipment consist of? Uh, it's definitely the food. It's like just almost one turn of food production. It's super cheap. Let's do that. All right. Let's start off here. Interesting. Here we definitely gonna go for here the, the ruins. Very marauders. Our troops are approached by very raiders who have been roaming the forests aimlessly. They wish to fight for a worthy cause with us. Labor is a worthy cause. We should could use help against the Libyans or promise them a job. Then use them in the riskiest areas while your own troops stay safe. Deceitful. That's bad. Warrior or population? I think I'll go for population, to be honest. Warriors, it looks quite nice at the moment. I don't need them that badly. So it's also nice to see Taka big grow. Alright. And, okay, we've got the situation over here. Oh gosh, no, and then, wait a second, this was stupid. These guys have to heal, actually, because they're quite hurt, and I feel like with these guys, yeah, I should be able to finish him off. Boom. Exactly, and you guys can use the time to heal. So, yeah, next turn we'll be able to attack this settlement over here. Um, Alright, what else? Here we... Hmm, maybe now we can build hamlets. Maybe it's... Do the hamlet first, and I here think is a great spot for it. Looks pretty smooth. All right, let's do that. Hamlet. And over here, um, we have to stockpile stone. So maybe let's build another quarry. We were getting a lot, but we're also using a lot. So actually, let's build a quarry here. Chop down the trees. Nice to see. I mean, for those who can enjoy these kind of things. Um, yeah, you guy, you will secure this a little bit and you uh, work as a scouting unit. Same here, I think. Just have it here to get a little bit of a better insight. And you guys can continue scouting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is probably going to be the end of this scout, but it is what it is. And apart from this, nothing, nothing to do. So let's go to the next turn. And there we go. This is the uh, prophesied end of our scout and you can see down here also of our queen happiest when engaging in extreme violence you carthalo your brother fourth in line is bloodthirsty all right queen arisha Dabal died in office and Badbal has converted to carthaginian paganism lawful regent the nation grieves the death of queen arisha Dabal the ambitious during the funeral uh, duke sushan approaches and bows to you the young heir bomilcar my young lord, Sushan lowers himself to knee and look into the eyes. With the death of our Richard Baal, the nation is at risk. Allow me to act as your regent. I will handle matters of state until you come of age. Okay, our, 
our uncle only 28 years old 20 years older than me however yep and i mean eight year old you're not gonna do that alone so he become the regent definitely please take the throne uncle i boom all right we have a new we need a new government for hadrumetum and another event self-reflection the day of your coronation is at hand. Before the ceremony, you take some time to reflect on the responsibilities that come with the throne. It makes you question, what type of ruler do you aspire to be? Is there anything I'm an orator, inspiring, and a soldier? Kind of an honest person. Kind of a... Focus on attaining righteousness. But we've got already what? Charisma and... Courage, and here you get even more charisma and lose some courage. I should surround myself with brilliant artists. Uh, I should lead a quiet life of philosophical study. Hmm. Kind of fan of this one, so we get at least some more. Some culture in and some more wisdom however it's quite small actually and let's do that should lead a quiet life of philosophical study so which means we finished already here the trapping uh and he we can pick some new studies and of course this time it's gonna be the biremes because this was pretty the navigation this is our mission and we're definitely gonna go for that one all right, and here we are. We are Zushan the New. Uh, we don't have a wife, to be honest. Maybe with the Hanonites. Let's see. Uh, can we marry? Yeah, maybe let's do this, actually, so we can please them a little bit. They don't slip under the plus 100. Uh, okay, let's do this first. Let's see if we find somebody at the Hanonites to love us. And let's move up here. Now it's the time of the attack. Hang. Oh, we can't finish them off. Okay, we need extra support. And um, boom. We did it. And prisoners of war. As they loot the Libyan camp, our soldiers free a group of terrified prisoners. These ragged men claim to be skilled laborers from a rival tribe, but our units suspect that they are enemies posing as captives. What shall we do? Execute them. We become vigilant, better safe than sorry. Or if they're laborers, they will labor for us. We are not this kind of brutal person, and we've got like already some laborers in here. So let's just make Takabe grow. Uh, citizens four already. This was a fast growth. How much is Hydromatum? <laughs> Smaller. Uh, but here we've got. Don't get this wrong. The citizens here we've got also specialists in here. This they count also. So we've got three specialists. So basically, actually, here also three. Wow, Takape with these <laughs> new immigrants turned out to be our biggest city in no time. Alright, and so we can send, we have got a set line one turn that we will send over here. That's nice to see. And have a strong feeling with these two units that there's another settlement place over here. So this campaign isn't over until we crush the Libyans fully. Here we've got another worker. Hmm. Now we've got the camp, so let's connect our elephants. You guys can rest. Ah, uh, we need a candidate for Hadrumetum. And I think it'll also go with us. I mean, we can stay here, and when this old governor over here, I mean, he's really super talented, if I, as I remember. Yeah, with the Pathfinder, is pretty helpful. Aff affable. Yeah, he's pretty good. For Carthage, we obviously need the best um, governor, but in so far, he, Zushan, is pretty promising. However, I'll make him study here, and then when he passes away, and maybe our Bomilkar comes in, we will see what the best choice would be. Alright, but so far, King Zushan can be governing can be governing uh, Hadrometum. Alright, uh, are we actually pagan? Didn't uh, from religion wise, since I just saw here the state religion. Now we need to enroll, but do we have a religion yet? Ah, next year, next turn we find one. 
Carthalo as, well, as of the religion. And we can marry one of the Hanonids. We've got Yasmin the Younger, a diplomat. And we've got Daidu the Younger, schemer and witty. Oh, she's very wise. To be honest, just by the name. Let's go with Daido. It's it's a good, always good, like to bring her back to the to the lineage for legitimacy. We never know. He's quite an honest and uh, upright man, but uh, you know, never know what happens uh, when a transition happens of power. Maybe this line will stay for some reason in power, or with the brother, the the nephew dies. So we'll take Dido. Definitely the name that uh, would be quite fitting. So we've got Queen Dido leading the next generation. Oligarch Armirkel de Sogola meets with you to discuss court matters as he has recently taken up the mantle of family head of Magonitz. In the wake of Ildash of Korathadash's death, he converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, Ildash, was rather pleased with you based upon all the correspondence I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. How shall you respond to this? Yes, I should say we get along well. I'm always available for the great Magonid family. Oh, let's do this. We can easily afford it. Yeah, let's give them some ship and some money over there. That's fine. Carrying the torch. Patriarch Hasdrubal of Katadash meets with you to discuss spiritual matters. Wait. Uh, Patriarch? Ah, of, ah okay. All right. As he recently taken up the mantle of leader of Carthaginian paganism in the wake of Queen Consort Shamshi's death. Everybody's dying. This must be kind of for some disease going on around here. Um, he converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden after attending a sacrifice until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor Shamshi, God rest her soul, was rather distant from you based upon all the... Co oh, it's the same text, basically. And also him, we will push some... Yeah, give, give him some money. That's always a good idea. And there we go. Hamlet has been built. Oh, I was just saying, let's, let's use our dudes here for scouting. But to be honest, um, <laughs> let's just scout a little bit so we can still shoot upon these guys. And is she going to, is this unit going to kill? Uh, no critical damage, and in this case, I will also, yeah, go get off here for a second. We can go here next turn again, but I want to get rid of this unit. We've got the settler exactly, who is marching down here, and we've got one more builder. And let's then build the mine. We want to build a mine. Then next turn, yeah. Or can we even build another hamlet? And just because of the culture, probably, yeah. And here in Hadrometeum, what we're gonna build... Nothing is really urgently important. To be honest, maybe we're just going for the next set, like considering that there's probably another town. How fast are we do doing with settlers here? Six, one turn faster, and here is 17. No, let's get... Nah, come on, let's get another settler out uh, for the time we conquer over here. And that's it. We all used all the orders already, so let's go to the next one. Alright. Uh, what happened up here? I don't... Getting some kind of... Apparently, bros. Oh, maybe I'm getting some kind of... Uh, fulfilling some kind of goals. <laughs> King Bomilka uh, Glenu is old enough to be tutored. We're definitely gonna do this for sure. And she has... Taiba the scientist has converted to Carthaginian paganism. Ah, we've built three garrisons. That's probably what gave us this kind of thing. Garrisons built. As desired by the Barkid family, we have established military garrisons in several of our cities. Wonderful. We get some extra connection. So far, it's apart from the plagues. It's kind of a smooth ride. Right. There comes a time in the rise of nations when wealth and power have accumulated in such great amounts that the nation's leaders turn their eyes toward achievements of national pride. 
While the Cartaginian people are not yet so ambitious as to decide to construct unique wonders, they do bear a sense of pride and worth in what their culture has built. There is desire among the court to undertake the grand project, something both practical and symbolic, which will not only aid the desire to grow the economy even larger, but also serve as a moral booster and source of new cultural pride among the citizenry. Select one among the suggestions forwarded by our nation's elite families. Alright, we're getting a new goal. Add a moat to Quartadash. Build six shrines. Explore seventh ancient ruins. Oh, oh guys, I, this is a problem. I have really no idea how many ruins we've already discovered. The problem about the shrine is that we built probably three. We have four available in the beginning. We can build one more. Um, in order to get more out, as far as I remember, but I need to look this up for a second, we need some kind of... Um, Religious research, I think. Convert to state religion. But there's some kind of law. Let's have a look where you can. It's here polytheism. We need polytheism, and this requires monasticism. So, if we want to go to do these things, oh, monasticism is kind of available. All right, this is for me. We don't even need this path, right? So we could go right to this one. This is something I would like. And then we've got the idea of moats. Uh, this was the other one where we can build moats. Where can we find this? Probably of the polis, walls, lumber mill, grove. Um, there should be some kind of... Mode, mode, mode. Requires project walls. And we need to get sovereignty out. Sovereignty. Which is... We're definitely going to keep on researching here first. No worries. Sovereignty. Sovereignty. Which require also halfway... In, in, in like... We can get that. <laughs> Constitution, tyranny... This path, but no, guys. I'm gonna go. Just gonna, I'm gonna mark the tech this up that we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna go for the shrines. Um, now we were here, and let's go build six shrines for the artisans. Let's do that exactly. All right, within 50 turns. Uh, yeah, I mean we should not waste too much time like waiting, but we should definitely get going at some point. And then we've got the next uh, thing incoming. Time passes quickly. King Bomilkar the new is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate Bomilkar? Yeah, he's like the upcoming new uh, king. So let's have a quick look. 10 years old. Abdicated. He's a rightful heir. Yeah, abdicated. He didn't really abdicate. I think he's just being replaced or has a regent. Let's go with... Yeah, just philosophy. I like it. I'm always a fan of wise kings, so let's go with philosophy in this case. Alright, then we've got our um, um, settler here. Yeah, and of course we're gonna go to this spot and we will build our next one. The And I think one of the reasons what I wanted to do is here, okay, we have lumber mills and mines output, not the necessarily the best thing here. But I kind of want to start building ships soon when uh, the Byremes. And this might be a good spot. Let me have a quick look. The others get Saddleborn. And here we've got with the traders. What do the nets are? We've got nets output, so it's actually not bad for the traders. Mm. Traders are the barcades, right? No, these are the riders, the Hanonids. Yeah, the Magonids are really like... They're very fine, you know? <laughs> and they're here in Carthage, so... Now, this is not a mine and lumber mill place. So, for thinking about the future, probably doesn't really matter so much. We're going to go with the traders. And then we have to see where this is going to. And once again, we're going to go with a worker first classic move for me um yeah there might be reasons when it doesn't make sense 
But yeah, and let's go scout a little bit further. I think there needs to be something. Oh yeah, and there we are. And these dudes here, um... Let's move them up, and you guys maybe are here for the, for the time. And I think this looks very much like the border of the map, so here we should be fine, and uh, <laughs> this should be the end of the map. Probably one last place for um, for this for the for the city, and then we have to think. Uh, probably the Libyans should be extinct, and we have to uh, yeah, decide upon how we take on the Numidians in the future. What's going on over here? Uh, here we wanted to build a mine, actually not the quar the hamlet. Um, but I like the hamlet better, and I think think here's a great spot. Looks also good here. I mean, I don't know, it's just Hamlet is a building I really, really enjoy as an extension because it's uh, in these kind of, um, you know, like Civilization and these kind of Forex games, you're mostly uh, focused on one city, but if you look at the actual maps, of course, you see a lot of small villages and also cities, especially here yeah, in historical uh, main area of Carthage, there would have been several of them, I just... Utica comes to my mind and just out of the blue right now. So I like when there's kind of settlements also in positions just for the style and <laughs> flavor. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's odd, I know, or it's a little bit weird, but uh, I'm pretty sure some of you understand. And this is probably also the reason why you follow me. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we've got just one order left. That's the reason why nothing is happening. Um, shrine, shrine, shrine. Anything of particular interest? Are oh, we gonna start over here actually? Mm -mm. Maybe we're gonna build the shrine actually first and here adjacent grove, but here's where we can build groves, right? Yeah, why would you recommend to do it over here? Here we're gonna build the shrine, I think. Can we? Uh, shrine of Ashmoon. Uh, we cannot now. Maybe it's not indicating a... Uh, we shall see next turn because we got no order to start the build. On over here, what are we building next? Pooh. We're really lagging behind and there's not so much to do yet in terms of research. Let's just get the militia out and just in case. Um, once again, militia... Yeah, it's a not really strong unit, but it's nice to have something as a reserve. Apart from this one, you build walls, and you have one unit of the family that owns the place in the ter territory defending it. You will lose one discontent level per turn, and here we have plus six, which is quite a lot. Could reduce it to plus five. Um, yeah, I don't know. For this reason, I'm always happy in Old World to have militias around, or like some unit of this. Actually, let's check if the militia is the good choice. Not them um, doing complete uh, BS, and no, they at least take longer. So sometimes it's faster to build. It depends on the training or growth, because they grow we build with different units. In this case, the growth. So I'm going with the militia. All right. I think also this is a good moment to end this very episode a little bit before, before half an hour. But yeah, I am, we hope successfully conquered Oya or settled Oya. And I think next turn we're going to finish off the Libyans. Um, at this moment, just thank you for watching already. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. And apart from this, if leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet. It helps the channel a lot and doesn't cost you anything. So thank you very much for that. And yeah, then just see you next time in Old World and our Carthaginians. Bye, your strategy wolf.